Hello, welcome back to Just One Look, and today we're having a look at Paradrome on the Atari ST. So, this was released in 1988 by Electronic Arts, and it's basically a first person sci fi race game. So, it's a forerunner really to something like Wipeout. But as far as I know, it's the first one of its type, at least a 3D one anyway. So, basically, you have a ship, you fly it around a track. And try and win races. So we have a practice mode, we have head to head. I'm not sure whether it's Amiga or only Atari ST to Atari ST. Got our options. I can get it to work. Where's it gone? Oh, I've got to put my name in first. Oh, we can only have so many letters. So we have practice, we have the race, the race have a qualifying lap beforehand. And so we've got the options here, so we've got different things. I'm not exactly sure what they do these days. And we can adjust the controls, so I'm going to put that right over this way. And that makes it less sensitive. So you can go up to 50 laps, I'm not sure who would want to do that. So let's go down to 5. Not that I'm going to... Oh, only 20. Not that I'm going to even finish a race. Because the one thing about this game, which anybody who's played it will remember, it's very, very hard to control. Otherwise, it's a great game. So, let's have a practice. And that's probably all I'm going to do, because I can't win a race. There's no hope. I have been practicing a bit. It'd be hard to tell. So, here we are. So, we've got um, basically a pit stop screen. So you do take damage. Off we go. So left click is slow down, right click is go faster. So it's quite smooth, the controls are all quite smooth, it feels quite good. But it's very, oops, very hard to control indeed. So I'm only going half speed, so let's speed up a little bit. Uh, so there is a centering control which doesn't seem to actually do anything. Oops. So hitting the walls will take damage, will cause you to take damage. Unfortunately, because I hit them a lot. So I was just going around this course quite happily without hitting anything. Now, one bad thing about this game is it does have like I think the original wipeout sticky walls, so you can get stuck on them, which is very annoying. Uh, so you want to keep near the top. Not sure what the green flashing is. I think it's probably the pit lane. So we've got a little rare view mirror in the middle, and we've got a damage indicator, I think possibly fuel. So of course in the 50 lap races you need to refuel several times. I don't think I'd ever do that, I don't think I ever did. I'm not sure I actually ever run a, won a race either to be honest. That's, it's quite impressive for 1988. Let's just go to a race so you can see the other ships. Now the first track is a lot, a lot more difficult than the oval practice track. So I think this is the one to click. So you definitely want to play on mouse. No, don't try it with a joystick for God's sake. It is even harder to control. So this is a qualifying. And I'm just going to quit, because I'll be last no matter what I do. So when you turn the engine on when it starts, I think. And this track it is a lot more difficult than the oval, mainly because it has up and down uh, elements, which are quite hard to judge. we go basically you need to put the sensitivity right down as far as you can I'm not quite sure what things mean on the options sc screen there I have to look at my copy and see I think I've reduced it to sensitivity down but it's still <laughs> extremely sensitive oops 
so we've been overtaken already. Oh dear. It seems in this emulated version at least the sound tends to go off when you get overtaken. We just get this buzzing. Oh, did quite well. Well, <laughs> as in actually getting around the track and not crashing. Oh, been overtaken again. As I said, I don't think I ever won a natural race. Even though I played quite a bit to try and get good at it, but I think actually it's easier with the PC mouse. I think the Atari mice were a lot trickier to use. Oh. It's actually not the difficult track which I did last time by mistake. Oh. Let's recenter. I can't remember what the key is. Let's crash. And this track isn't actually too bad. So if you uh, click both the left and the right map button, you get to afterburner. Oh, 16 laps. Oh god, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can see we've got rear view mirror there. A nice little touch. I mean, it's an impressive game for the time with the damage indicators and all the things in this game. Like the little rear view mirror. The ship designs are quite good. And it moves really well. Oh, we lost sound again. Afterburners. It is quite. It does move at quite an impressive lick, really. It's very smooth. So I've damaged the right ring, and it will control worse. Which does not make it any easier. So I think that. Probably stop in a minute. I think that buzzing is really gonna annoy. Oh, back to normal. I think let's leave it there. You can see the screens are now gone blank so I'm so damaged. So you've also got fuel, you have to refuel. I think I said that. Let's quit. It is a really nice game. I'll say things like the link up and the different tracks and the damage. All the stuff that's actually in this is very impressive. It's just a shame it's so ridiculously hard to control. But if you like a, a challenge, I definitely recommend giving it a try. I'm sure you can get good, it, good at it with enough practice, but I never managed. So let's leave it there for today. So that's Powerdrome on the Atari ST. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.